we came to the oldest audio video company in the world from Denmark. This is Bang & Olufsen. And we're checking out these $90,000 speakers and we're here for one reason. Justin, pause, please. These are the Beolab 90 speakers from Bang & Olufsen. How do you make a $90,000 speaker? Well, you start by taking 65 kilograms of aluminum and pouring it into a very unique shape that's made to house 18 separate drivers with 18 separate amplifiers so that you can specifically tune the audio to each individual driver. In their acoustics department, there were a few different ideas they'd been tossing around for a while and everything sort of came together to make this ultimate speaker set. One of those things being multi-channel room compensation. And they believe that it's really the speaker that should define the sound and not the room. So they're able to calibrate the speaker to just about any environment. They even have directional uh, controls and also distance controls depending upon where you're going to be in the room while you're listening so you'll have the optimal experience. Beyond that, they allow you to control the directivity of the speakers. Now, what does that mean? Well, as you can see, they're sort of built uh, in almost a 360 design. There's speakers all over the place. Now, you can put them in the middle of the room and they can just be sort of like omni. You can have it just pointing in all directions so that the sound fills the space. Or you can put them wherever you like and use the remote or actually use an app on your phone to direct the beam. It can do a wide beam, an omni beam, or even a very narrow beam. Uh, we sort of left this on a, a medium to wide beam, not an omni beam. And that was perfect for our video games because it still was filling up the room like crazy, uh, but also allowing us to have some spatial awareness in our games. Now powering that, you have 14 of their proprietary ice power amplifiers. And then beyond that, we have four additional class D amplifiers so every single speaker gets its own amplification. And as your neighbors are going to find out, these are 8,200 watts per loudspeaker. So the cover that it comes with is like an acoustically transparent fabric, similar to like a, a sail, they say it's like a sail design that goes around this uh, and it gives it a different look, but it's gonna be up to you. And when you're going into Bang & Olufsen, you wanna make sure that your gaming hardware matches their audio hardware. And I think we did a really good job with the Lenovo Y740 15 inch gaming laptop. This thing plays games as fast as my desktop. My desktop has a 1080, this has a 2070. You have an i7-8750H that is a six core. We have a full HD display that is capable of 144 Hertz. We also have an NVIDIA RTX 2070, 32 gigabytes of RAM. We have a 500 gigabyte M.2 SSD plus a two terabyte SSD that we're gonna be using for storage for games and all that sort of thing. Now, not only is the laptop completely loaded and it plays all these games effortlessly, it also, in my opinion, really matches the design elegance of like a Bang & Olufsen speaker. It's uh, got a better build quality than any gaming laptop that I have ever used. And I'm saying that despite the fact that we're sponsored, I'm saying that completely objectively. This is the most well-built laptop I've ever used. And I also like the keyboard because it draws upon the history of ThinkPad keyboards uh, and it implements all that technology right here on this gaming laptop. So that allowed us to play any game we wanted at whatever settings we wanted, even with the filters on, and there was no stuttering, no slowdowns. So we were just here for the experience with nothing getting in our way. <laughs> Well, I think the, the thing was that I think that's a trick in it all is you don't feel like it's you know how with like conventional stereo setups you know you have you have one can here one can here and like if one's just a little off you can kind of you can kind of tell well I just feel like this feel fills the space so well in a sense that like um, it does its job pretty pretty good. This is gonna be like another routine video. We're gonna go in. Yeah, it's gonna be cool and everything. I didn't expect the walls to shake when I was playing a medieval and they're shooting the, ro well not rockets, they're like shooting the little planets at me and stuff like that and I'm shooting planets back at them and we're, yeah, the, the, the weapon effects and stuff, the way it rumbled was ridiculous, but also the clarity and crispness, even when, you know, you've got something really bassy happening, like low voices and stuff, explosions, yeah, there's gonna be a lot of rumble, but you get the sparkle and the crackle of the flames and like the, the lightning hitting the wall and stuff. 
It was electrifying. Lightning was electrifying, Justin? Oh, hi, you just caught me reading this Bang & Olufsen's catalog. <laughs> like no one else. This was definitely the most immersive sound experience I've had. It just was like sitting in a movie theater specifically designed to play really awesome games on and just like games that I'm even used to playing felt way more immersive because it just felt like I was surrounded by it instead of my usual like headphone sounds on everything. Like it did a really good job of making it seem like the whispering on like Hellblade was coming from everywhere. Like sometimes it literally felt like it was coming from way back behind me. And sometimes it felt like it was coming right from the left or the right and stuff. But the way it projected the sound in this place was just like, it felt even crazier with all those whispering voices going on. If I had the money to do it, I would buy these. If I lived alone, if I had no neighbors, I would totally blast this all the time. But if I had neighbors, I wouldn't because I would feel like I'd be the worst neighbor ever. And like if my neighbor had this stuff and was blasting things like this, I would break into their house and yell at them. For this, definitely though, I think uh, if it was a FPS with a lot of guns going on, I probably would switch to headphones just because the gunshots got to me a little bit for the, you know, everything. But Subnautica and stuff like that. <laughs> Of the repair tool. I would say this would be the most like immersive experience I've had with audio at least. Uh, specifically like with games like Subnautica, just because it was it was just amazing. It was it filled the room like you're actually diving into the ocean. Like it was it was unlike anything I've experienced. I think for everything outside of a competitive FPS, hands down, I'd I'd probably do this. Competitive FPS games, I feel like you need that instantaneous, like very directional sound. But with this, it, it filled the room that felt more natural than anything else that it would be so good for just sitting on the couch playing Witcher or something like that, you know? So with the, with the Lenovo laptop, I um, it does run Crisis, confirmed. So there is that. But no, I, I didn't even think about it. There was no frame stuttering. There was no uh, loud, obnoxious, fan noises, not that I could have heard it in any way because of the speaker setup, but no, I, I, had, I didn't give it a second thought that it was running on a laptop. So I've, I've kind of ruined my, the rest of my life now because I can't go home and experience this. I, you know, I can put on my headphones and I've got the best headphones because that's what I do, I love headphones, but they don't shake the earth and I need that. They don't shake my soul. This was like a soul shaking experience, you know, even playing Mario Kart. Going around those turns, just landing and like getting hit with the red shell, damn you. And I want to reiterate that like everything had that like meaty hit, but at the same time, it's not drown out. Like a lot of speakers that go big with the bass and stuff, they drown out the highs. And this was extremely balanced and it did feel the room. Uh, feel? It did. It filled the room. <laughs> I was feeling the room as it filled the room. The, the audio, as you know, you can like direct it and it was, it was coming at us, but a lot of times it was almost like the sensation of having headphones. I'm not sure how it was doing that, but it felt like audio was coming from the sides when the speakers are in front of us. It just felt like it was coming from all over. Um, and it was actually a, a really nice experience, especially in the FPS games. The sound, the sound stage was huge and it was very easy to tell like where stuff was coming from. So yeah, you guys, Especially the few of you out there who can go out and buy this, do it. Just, I would sacrifice my headphones. I would get rid of all significant others. Because they're not going to tolerate this, you kidding me? <laughs> well, I said a crazy mountain hermit. Yeah, if I was a, yeah. a crazy mountain hermit curmudgeon, which is my, my future, I'll have these. So maybe I will have these, and I'm going to have to start writing a movie right now so I can produce it and make enough money to get these. But yeah, this is definitely something I would, I would put in, um, not my living room, but in my computer room. You know, living room, something. I don't use the living room as much, so yeah, this would go on my gaming rig, no, no problem. The Y740 is a beast. I mean, we're playing Zelda Simu uh, with all the mods, cranked up to, to 1080p. Everything ran so smooth, and that's really difficult to do because it's emulating, uh, emulating, but you know, Crisis, completely buttery smooth. Um, it's, it's weird, we maxed out all the games we played and I can't find anything to complain about, which is pretty crazy. Also, I like, I like the keyboard on that, that's the other thing is, I, I was like, hey, you know what? We're bringing the Lenovo. Let's, we don't need a keyboard. We can just use that keyboard because it's actually good enough to game on. So thanks very much, Lenovo.
I want to say thank you to Bang & Olufsen in Portland for uh, letting us come in here and shoot this. You guys can check them out over at bangandolufsen.com. And also, if you guys grab these, there's no shipping and sales tax in the state of Oregon. But no, no shipping any, anywhere else, right? Yeah. Don't forget, guys. We were using this, so this was actually what we were using to play a, a lot of the um, games, especially the console games, and then the 3360 Phoenix Swift right here, 3360 sensor in there, so be sure to pick that up. Head over to epicpants.com, and we'll see you guys in the comments. Let us know what you think. Do we care? Yeah, we care, so put it in the comments. See you guys later.